Peggy 12. Welcome back to Act of Aggression, a strategy game hailing from the golden era of RTS, an era where three factions pitted it out for resources and power. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to the US Army, one of three factions in Act of Aggression, each with their own strengths and weaknesses. Set in the near future, the US Army is strung out by multiple deployments all over the world. Recurring defense budget cuts have led to equipment wear and cancellation of new weapon systems. Still, armed with the faithful Abrams tank, the US Army is a veteran dreadnought to be reckoned with. American bases are not as confined as the Chimera, nor as extended as the cartel bases, but they beat them both where sturdiness is concerned. Their refineries are amongst the cheapest to run in the world, and their tankers have the greatest capacity. However, they are unable to process more advanced rare earth elements. The US Army bases require a substantial amount of electricity to run properly, especially for their defense systems, the Phalanx and the Patriot. Both Phalanx and Patriot will have to be kept plugged in at all times to be operational. Should the enemy deprive them of their power source, those deadly weapon systems will be instantly neutralized, opening a deadly breach in your defenses. US Army survey teams drive a specially modified Humvee rigged with geological equipment to identify the procedurally generated resources on the map. They are fast and able to quickly cover vast areas and are armed with a heavy machine gun which makes them capable of performing military scouting and engagement with enemy infantry. In its barracks, the US Army enjoys the largest selection of immediately available infantry units, cheap and well balanced. Riflemen, anti-tack, anti-air and mortar teams are at your disposal. Most US Army units can be upgraded individually in their original buildings or by groups in some dedicated research buildings, logistic centers and technical centers. Early, you'll decide to either deploy the light vehicle bay or the hospital, unlocking the ubiquitous Humvee for scouting and access to armored transport or, if choosing the hospital, medicalized helicopters to recover and treat the wounds of wounded soldiers. US Army units are experienced in their given roles and once upgraded are generally considered the best in their field. The reverse side of the coin is that they are mostly limited to their intended role and prove a powerful force perhaps lacking in diversity. Next time, discover the Chimera, a UNO-funded peacekeeping force in active aggression coming 2015.